can we do to help improve the lives of those living with diabetes? Well, I think that the most important thing is that people have access to information, that they should know how important it is to exercise and uh, to eat correctly. So you don't have to treat diabetes, but you, you get to prevent instead. But if people are already with diabetes, there are ways of improving the life quality still by doing the same things as eating correct and uh, exercising. And having access to information is the most important thing, I would say. Two or three things, education, education, and education. Patients should know the target values or what are their targets of their blood sugar level, their blood pressure levels, their cholesterol levels, and their HbA1c level. They should know about it. And when the levels are high, they should be very much worried about and they should go to some healthcare professional to get these levels. We had to educate them about foot problems, foot care, about hypoglycemia, and they don't develop the complications. And those who are in the later stage of diabetes with tertiary complications, we have to make their life more comfortable and slow the progression of complications. So I think the most important thing we can do to improve the lives of diabetics is to really let people with type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes know about the hidden complications of nerve degradation from high blood sugar. You know, you don't really realize it when you're eating a meal and your sugar goes up and it comes back down and your A1C is okay, but those blood sugar spikes can really lead to nerve damage down the road. I think that uh, for um, my job is uh, most important to use uh, all, uh, all methods, education, uh, group education, medications, all of, of classes. The rest is uh, then the thing of the patients. Yeah. Um, I think it needs to be an individualised approach for all patients, so I don't think one size fits all. Um, I think that's something that we really need to concentrate on and say, you know, what might work for one person may not for another. For example, like pumps might be great for one individual but not for another, so I think it just depends on the person and their needs and sort of just listening to what they want really. ADA TV is brought to you from the American Diabetes Association 79th Scientific Sessions. For more from the meeting, make sure to click these links and subscribe for much more from the world of medicine.